guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Disney Morgan, and today I'm here with my second Q&A. So first, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who sent me questions, who took the time to ask me things that they want to know. Before I even start anything, I'm just going to apologize now if I mess up your name, if I say it wrong, if I mispronounce it. I'm sorry. So this first question is from Evan H. He said, my question for you is what inspired you to start a YouTube channel? I feel like that's a good place to start. Back in, I want to say... 2014 2015 I think is when I started I just love Disney more than literally anything I felt like I wanted to share my experiences with YouTube and whoever was willing to sit there and watch my videos at that time but I just wanted to share like all of the fun things that we did and kind of inspire other people to do some of the things that they maybe didn't even know existed or didn't even know that Disney offered really for me it's a place that I could just keep all my memory computers crash we lose photos we lose videos we have to make room for other things YouTube's gonna be there forever these videos are gonna be there forever so it's cool to look back and see what we were doing that we probably forgot we did because we've been there so many times since then especially because I do have a little brother to see him growing and to see him experiencing things for the first time in Disney going on new rides and all that stuff it's a blessing to be able to have everything saved and documented like that okay moving on this next question is from Kay she said when did you start vlogging your trips that was 2014 2015 would you ever post makeup tutorials your makeup is always so bomb thank you and how have you felt about traveling and going to the parks in general since covid not sure if i should plan a trip that's a really good question i actually did a makeup tutorial which is also outdated but i did it like a year or two ago and it was actually in the grand or boardwalk it was like a disney edition i had it ready with me for like a day at disney but definitely go check that out i will consider making an updated one because that one's inaccurate now disney and covid so now that things are sort of getting better we can say they are starting to up their capacity which means there are more people in the parks which means longer wait times there's still no fast passes whatsoever although Disney is very good at making sure they do stay on top of people as far as following you know the CDC guidelines and how amusement parks should be operating in these circumstances Disney does their part the guests just sometimes don't do theirs but it's all really up to you I mean I think that it's a good idea and I think that it's smart I don't know if I mentioned this before but they did within the last few months ban eating and drinking while walking so the only time you can really ever take your mask off is if you're in the bathroom and no one can see you or you go to one of their uh, like relaxation stations or you're like dining somewhere sitting down so um I think that it's worth it and I think that it would be a cool experience because it is so extremely different and Disney is doing such a great job at adjusting to what they have to I think it's worth it I say do it <laughs> Worst comes to worst, you don't go back until all of this is better. So this next question is from Addiction Mouse. Love that name. I know you have friends that work at Disney and you go there a lot. Have you ever been given or know of any insider tips about the parks? Times for special character meetups, lesser known pathways to the parks, finding special deals or discounts, etc. That's a good question. Unfortunately now, there's no character meetups whatsoever. They do like bring characters out. They do not tell anybody the times, like literally, nobody knows they just don't want crowding they don't want people waiting there for the characters to come out so it's kind of just random as far as lesser known pathways literally i feel like all of epcot they're doing so much construction there i don't even think any of the pathways are the same there there's a lot of shortcuts and sometimes longer roads i don't know i feel like there's always so much construction going on at disney that like when i do find a shortcut that i like i go back and then it's gone so it's like wow ways of finding special deals or discounts so a good thing that came out of this virus is discounts disney i do have to say has been doing a lot of discounts in the parks and like on merchandise that was for like christmas or 2020 and like they normally do those things but i feel like they've been doing even more of a discount right before the end of 2020 they were doing 75 percent off all 2020 merch you could literally get the zip up 2020 jacket for like ten dollars like it was just so 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 cheap now they're really doing a lot more deals and discounts that's like their way of apologizing that like things are not the same and if you are a pass holder or dvc member they have been upping those discounts too all right this the next question is from alex schoenfeld must do things at disney there's so many everything um no <laughs> the first thing that i would recommend that is probably like the top of my list is the hot air balloon ride in downtown disney it's so hard to get on and you have to go 
go on a sunny sunny day where there's no wind if you have the chance to get on it it's really not even that expensive and i think that it is such an amazing experience because you see so much they keep you up there for i think like 20 minutes i mean i haven't been on it since probably like 2009 another must do that i think is like absolutely necessary if you're visiting disney ride the monorail do the little monorail tour get off at every resort walk around go check out their pool check out the restaurants you might find some good snacks some good merch this question is from disney brie when did your love for disney start my love for disney started when i was two years old maybe even before that my parents took me on my first trip when i was two i loved it and i was so sad to leave and then ever since then until i was like 21 i cried every time i left as long as i can remember i've just loved disney more than almost anything in the whole wide world so all right this question is from marie a she said which ones are your favorite disney years that's like why do i have to pick one that's so hard i might i might have to say my pixar ears especially because i got those in disneyland before they actually were selling them in disney world so those are like super special to me i also really love my peppermint ears my pink ones little pink peppermint ones all right, this next question is from Amy P. What are your favorite alcoholic drinks in World Showcase, and what is your dream job, Disney or otherwise? Okay, favorite drinks, number one is definitely the limoncello margarita, frozen limoncello margarita in Italy that literally tastes like lemon Italian ice. Another one is absolutely the grapefruit beer in Germany. Love it. Always have to get one of those when we go. Another one, it is seasonal. It's not the Hawaii stand. They don't have it there all year round unless maybe they do and I just don't know. They have this sparkling pineapple wine. Not champagne, wine. Sparkling pineapple wine. It is so delicious. I'm sure you've seen it in some of my videos before. That that is definitely one of my favorites. There's also an Icelandic beer that's in Norway. I don't know the name of it. My dad got me into it. He loves it too. It's just like a light beer. I love it so much. Also, Mexico's margaritas. Okay, go into Mexico and go like down that little ramp. It's on the right hand side. There's usually a wait to get in. It's totally worth it. Their horchata there is amazing. And also the avocado something it's literally an avocado alcoholic beverage and it's so good my mom had it once and i tried it i was like a little like skeptical about it but it was so delicious highly recommended it was really sweet honestly which you wouldn't expect because it's avocado dream job disney or otherwise um see now that times are changing so much like who even has a dream job <laughs> does sound like that if concerts are ever a thing again backup dancing for like a major music artist is like the top of my list who knows what the future of concerts look like honestly anything where i'm performing and dancing sharing my love for dance and performing acting modeling anything of that sort okay this next question is from renee g what do you do for a living right now i just teach dance i teach a bunch of different styles i teach a bunch of different ages we were actually lucky enough to be teaching on zoom over quarantine and the whole when things were, were really really bad i do that and then before covid started i used to do acting on tv shows and movies which I miss so, so much. But now they require you to go into the city to get COVID tested before you actually work the show. I just can't take off the time to go in to get a COVID test and then to go back a day or two later to actually work in the city. This next question is from Steffi Nicole 44 What's your favorite Disney resort and why? I know this one. This is probably the only thing that I can actually pinpoint one single favorite. The Polynesian, as most of you guys know. I just think that the resort is just so top-notch in every way, shape, and form. You literally feel like you're in Hawaii. When you step foot on the property, like you really feel like you're on an island. Like you don't even feel, I mean, it feels like Disney. It honestly makes me feel like I'm at Alani, even though I've never been there. Oh my gosh, the beach there and the wood swings, the hammocks. The pool there is incredible. All of the pools there are incredible. If I had to pick a second, it would definitely be the Grand Floridian, so. This next question is from Kylie Reyes. What's your favorite Disney park and how often do you travel to Florida? My favorite park is gonna have to be Magic Kingdom. I used to say it was like a tie between Hollywood Studios and Magic Kingdom, but even though Hollywood is a close second, you know what? It's gonna have to be a tie between Hollywood and Magic. Especially with Rise of Resistance, Slinky Dog, Tower, Rock and Roller Coaster, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Rock. Like, there's so many good rides at Hollywood Studios now. Warning, it is, I think, the most crowded park now. Just letting you guys know. 
how often do you travel to Florida? I used to go when my family first moved down there. I was literally going like once a month or like once every other month just for like a long weekend. As time went on and things got worse with the virus, I was going like once every few months. And now, unfortunately, I don't even know when I'm gonna go back there, uh, which is really upsetting. I try and go as much as I can. Before my family moved down there, we used to go once or twice a year. On a family trip, we would either go in December for Christmas time, or we would go like the whole month of August and do like a summer trip. All right, so this next question is from Michaela S. When do you plan on going on your next trip? I have no idea, which makes me really sad. It is like the middle end of February and my birthday is in six days from today. My birthday is on the 27th. I usually try and make it down there to see them or go during February break. I just try and see them at one point or another for my birthday. This is the first year that I'm literally not seeing them at all for my birthday. So that makes me super, super upset if everything was Fine, I would probably be there right now. I was there today last year on this exact day. It'll probably be once it's warmer out. Hopefully things won't be as crazy. It's just hard to quarantine with work. It's hard to keep traveling and having to Zoom my classes or you know go get tested as soon as you get back or quarantine. It's just like so much. I don't want it to take a toll on my job. So, all right, next question. A lot of people ask this question. I think we all know what the question is gonna be. Am I moving to Florida? Right now, no, especially not with everything going on. Disney is firing everyone, so that's not. My whole life is in New York. I don't know if you guys know or not, but I have a baby bunny. Also, it's not really a baby anymore, he's like five months old. My job, I'm a dance teacher, so I have an attachment to my kids and I don't see myself leaving that job anytime soon. Okay, so this next question is from Kaylee T. Answer that. Favorite Disney movie, okay, we're gonna say Disney Pixar because a lot of my favorite Disney movies are Pixar. It's a tie between The Incredibles and Monsters, Inc. Two favorites. P.S. I would love to see some NYC vlogs in the future. I've been a few times and would love some tips like food places, good museums, hotels, etc. Wow, if you guys are interested in that, comment below because my fear is I don't want to post too many things non-Disney on my Disney channel because I know a lot of you guys are here literally just for my Disney stuff and nothing else. But if a lot of you guys are interested in seeing New York City things, please comment below because I thought no one would care about that. So if you wanna see that, please tell me. All right, so this next question is from Christy S. You and mom's top three favorite Disney drinks. Well, I'm gonna have to call mom and ask her. That's who she answers. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> so, I have a question for you. Yeah? Christy S. wants to know our top three favorite Disney drinks. So I'm assuming she means alcoholic. Both Are of our you favorite. the same ones that I'm gonna say in Italy? No, I already said that. The limoncello frozen margarita at Italy. That's one of mine. Someone asked me my favorite drink around the world showcase and I said that was it. I know one that I'm gonna say is one of my favorite. It is probably one of my mom's favorites too. The banana cabana that is found at most of the Disney pools on property. That's one of your favorites, right? That's, we started, that was at, I wanna say, Art of Animation. Art of Animation, I was gonna say Pop Century. It was, was Art of the Animation. That we had it and that was so, so good. They have it at a lot of different pools at the resort, so we got it a few other times. I think Boardwalk has it. I think Polynesian, right? Probably. Oh, speaking of the Polynesian. Yeah. Say it. it. Say what? it. What is it? I forget the name. Now I'm thinking. See, now, now I'm thinking of all. Cause it's a big area you have to cover. Do you know which one? Oh, even though this is only limited edition. What? That was one of my favorite was the one at the Flower Garden when we went to the big building. The Bailey's the Milkshake? The Bailey's Milkshake. Yeah. Was, yes. But it wasn't Bailey's, it was the Guinness. Wasn't it it Guinness? was Guinness, you're right. It was such a weird combination and it ended yeah. up being so good. It was so good and I know it's only limited. I'm sure they'll have it again. Yeah. But that was, that was, I was, Pleasantly surprised, absolutely. Which we didn't even think we were really gonna like it, but we were like, this sounds right. different, let's just try it. Exactly. Do I have one more? I think so. This is so hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you know when we went to Mexico? And we went down down into the, the Mexico, yes. Keep talking. 
Yeah, we went down into the little Mexican bar mm -hmm. in Mexico. We waited online because it was a very popular place to go into. And they had two of the best. See, I'm so bad with names. I don't know. It the was name. the avocado one. I liked it. I know. It was good. It was really it was good. Really good. So, whatever it's with avocado, that's the one. It's like an avocado margarita. It's like avocado and tequila. It's so good. Yes. It was very good. That was another pleasantly surprised. Cause you know, some of the things you wonder how the combinations are, but mm -hmm. this, it was good. All right, mom, thanks for answering those questions. We wish you were here with us. Hi, Love, you. Love you. Mwah. 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 Oh, look at your pretty nails. Thanks. I love them. <laughs> love you. Oh, I love her. I don't know how many I said. Banana Cabana was definitely my top. There's a blue lemonade that they also have at all of the pools. It's called like Big Blue Ocean or like Blue Lemonade, something. That one is also really good. Another one that I really, really love is the Pina Colada, which is at the Polynesian pool. It's basically just the Pina Colada and then they put raspberry puree at the bottom. It's so good. And there's another one there that has Dole Whip in it. They have like a Dole Whip lime one, and they have, a, they have like a normal Dole Whip. I think it's called like the spiky pineapple. So this next question, I think I might need help answering. Hey, YouTube. Okay, so Kirsten or Kirsten, I don't know how to pronounce that. There's no E, so maybe it's Kirsten. I'm gonna say Kirsten. Kirsten Young asked, she said, Q and A spam. Did you find it hard not moving with your fam to Florida? Absolutely, 120%. How did you meet Gerard? How did we meet? Well, you have to well, answer. Well, <laughs> I'm just here to, to see if you get it right. It's a test now. The first time me and, no, well how did me and Morgan meet? That's the question, the exact question, right? Mm -hmm. um, we met through mutual friends. Basically, we're both in the same industry. He does the like music artist side and I do like the backup dancing like performance side. I was like working for slash with like a lot of his friends and people that he knew and I was kind of just like brought around him with all of those other people. And that's how we met. Mm -hmm. I just used to see her at shows, you know, and then eventually we started talking. He still Dude. gets my DMs on Instagram. Yeah. We like talked all night. Poof. And then he asked me to hang out the next day and I usually am not the kind of person that I was like, I guess so. And then he picked me up from my rehearsal. But yeah, doing the shows is how I really came about her. And then, uh... How is Eric doing? Eric is good. I'm actually, okay, I'm gonna insert a clip right here, right now of him playing basketball. He is a basketball star. Better than I ever could be, better than I ever would be. He is so tall on his team. Everyone else is so much smaller than him and he's just so good. I'm really impressed. He's doing really, 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 really So this is the last question, unfortunately. This one is from Nigel222. What are your favorite Disney movies? My favorite Disney movies. Pixar, probably, it would have to be Toy Story or Monsters, Inc. Honestly, wait, no, I like Soul now. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was a really good movie. But, like, I grew up on Monsters, Inc. and Toy Story, so non-Pixar Disney movies. Love Winnie the Pooh. So OG. sad, though. So sad, but OG. 101 Dalmatians. Great. Another sad one. Another sad one, but they're good. Like, those yeah. are really, really, really good. Before I said Monsters, Inc. and The Incredibles, but adding to that, I think I could definitely say Finding Nemo, even though every time I watched it on my DVD player, I would just skip the first chapter because as soon as the first chapter is over, Nemo's mom is already dead. I don't have to watch it. Don't have to cry. Just Finding Dory also was amazing. The characters, hysterical in that movie. Classic Disney movie, Cinderella was my favorite, always. Anybody else? Um, I really like Aladdin. You know what's another one that I really liked when I was younger? Hercules. Did you ever watch the Disney Hercules movie? No. Those are my favorite Disney movies. Those are Morgan's favorite Disney movies. And I think that is the end of this video. Alright, it's time to get some food now. I have makeup on. It's okay. 
So that just about wraps up this whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed my second Q&A, not my fourth, my second. Comment below anything else that you want to see before I go back to Disney. Um, I could do a Squishmallows collection video, and no, I'm kidding. <laughs> do you guys like Squishmallows? The video just ends there. <laughs>